What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mom, coming at y'all to give y'all an update on, on my status um, for my surgery. Uh, everything went good. I'm just having to lay down. As y'all can see from my background, I am home for the weekend. Um, I'm home for the weekend. I just have to do a lot of laying down because it hurts and all the pain. And I'm trying to keep y'all updated as much as I can. Let me see if I can talk to y'all and look in the camera at the same time. <laughs> I'm trying to keep y'all updated as much as I can. Okay. Let me see if I can try to explain this procedure, the surgical procedure. And I've been going through um, the first two days went fine. First day was Wednesday, and then the second day was Friday. Um, hurt really, really, really bad. Um, haven't been able to sit down for a very long period of time. Um, the ride home this weekend really hurt because I had to sit down and very very uncomfortable and uh the procedure goes like this the first day they knocked me out they and with anesthesia and they put some metal piece inside of me called a sleeve they sewed it in i didn't feel none, none of that um i didn't feel none of that when it started but um when the medicine wore off and I woke up, I felt everything, everything. Even even after they injected me with a uh, pain medicine, like oh, excuse me, like morphine, I believe they still didn't like make me not feel pain because I still felt the pain. They had to reach with their hand down there to. Put in the little sleeve thing that they left in there, and the the sleeve. Okay, let me see if I can explain it good to it good enough for y'all. The sleeve is something like this big around, and it has a hole in the middle. It has a hole in the middle. Can y'all see that? <laughs> it has a hole in the middle, kind of like a straw got a hole in it. So they put the, they that actually gets stitched on onto the tumor. It's going to be directly on the tumor. Say my tumor is right here. This is a straw. My finger is a straw. They put the straw directly on top of the tumor, touching it like that. Okay. And it's three other metal pieces that come after that, which they put in and they take out each time. And the three metal pieces look like little, like circles. They look like a circle. And each circle is bigger than the next circle. I know because I be paying attention and I be looking down at myself when they be doing whatever to me. Um, and this is all done vaginally. I'm not cut open or nothing like that. So this is all done vaginally. And these um, inserts are pushed inside of me with tools and different kind of metal pieces that push up against me and open me up and shove it down in the literally shoving it down in the each ball got a hole in it a tiny hole in it and directly in the middle okay each ball got to be lined up with the next ball with the next ball with the next ball all the holes got to be lined up perfectly and they got to be lined up on the sleeve perfectly to, in order to get directly to the tumor. Okay, so now that they got the balls in there, before all the balls and all that other good stuff, they put a catheter in me. So that way, you know, I won't go to the bathroom while they doing all of this. So I, be, I have a catheter on me. And... And... So, okay, now just say, it, it take a while for them to get the, the metal pieces in there straight. I call them balls because they're shaped like balls, but they're made out of metal or some kind of 
excuse me, stainless steel or something, I don't know. And um uh once they get them all lined up, there's this metal string thing. Just let me see how the best way I can explain it is um a bullet, like a bullet from a gun on the end of a metal wire. Like a bullet and then this is the wire that just like string from a fishing pole that's how the wire looks and you got to thread that put the bullet on the string and thread the bullet through the holes of each ball so when you come through the holes in each ball you end up at the little spot with like the the piece that's sewn in yet and then once you start the radiation the radiation points directly to the tumor the radiation points directly to the tumor and they turn the radiation thing on and they zap the tumor with the radiation. Um, so it, in case, in since they melting, they trying to melt the tumor away. Okay, so that's as best as I can explain the procedure if you understand that. But anyways, the whole time that they doing that part, I'm wide awake and I'm feeling everything. <coughs> and everything is... You know, sorry y'all, my throat hurt. I don't know why I'm yawning. I guess I'm sleeping. My throat hurt a little bit because when they put me to sleep the first day with the anesthesia, you know, they stick that tube down your throat so you can breathe. So when they take it out, um, when they took it out, my throat was hurting and my mouth was hurting and stuff like that. But that's about the only pain I felt from the anesthesia. Um... I did that procedure Wednesday, and I did that procedure um, um, also on Friday. So, I have another one to do Tuesday coming. Today is Sunday, and so I got two more days to rest before I do the, the next procedure. And then, um, we I don't know what happens after that, honestly. Um i keep y'all updated in another video. Y'all just gonna have to follow me because right now I really don't know um, what's next. Uh, so, oh, by the way, I'm done with chemotherapy. I did six treatments of chemo in um, six weeks. And I stayed at the, the place that I'm staying at that's not home. It's called the American Cancer Society um, in Birmingham, Alabama. And um, I've been staying there for the last um, seven weeks, eight weeks, and it's been okay. It's a, it's a place, you know, it's not home away from home, but it's a place. Everybody that has cancer, everybody that stays there has cancer, um, different types of cancer, lung cancer, throat cancer, breast cancer, brain cancer, um, loop, loop leukemia and all kinds of cancer um so i it you can re you can relate to somebody's story in some kind of way um there at that place but i get tired of staying there because i just get tired of being around people that's sick uh not saying there's nothing wrong with it but i just i, I just want to be around people some of those people aren't smiling some of those people are real real sick you know and most people are okay, you know, but some of the patients are really sick, and I don't like to see people, you know, doing bad. I'm just, I feel sorry for people like that, even, even, I know a lot of people feel sorry for me, but then at the same time, I feel sorry for other people as well. Um, all of this requires a lot of laying down for me, because it hurts to stand up, it hurts to sit down, it hurts to walk. It hurt to use the bathroom. It just hurt all together. And when I tell you, when they inserted those balls, those metal pieces in me, it hurt so bad. Like, I can't even explain the pain. It hurts so bad. When they put them in and when they take them out. Because they got, when they put them in, they got to adjust them, you know, where they need to go. And when they take them out, they got to get a grip on them where they can take it out easier. And try not to hurt me at the same time, but it hurts either way. So, 
Um, I'm just tired, y'all. I'm I'm not complaining. I'm just tired of not being not being able to do the things that I normally could do, like simple stuff like washing dishes. I mean, I don't miss washing dishes, but it's just the energy it takes for me to get up and do it. And walking on the track, I can't eat, I can't walk on the track now. I'm not allowed to be out in the sun. I'm not allowed to take baths and perfume, um, um, body wash. I can only use Dial or Ivory soap, and I can't put nothing on my skin. I can't wear lotions. I can't wear body sprays or perfumes and stuff like that. I just got to use Ivory soap, and if I want to use lotion, I got to use this lotion called Utterly Smooth. Um, got that from... Mm-hmm. Walgreens, yeah. Oh, y'all, good news. My grandbaby is coming. I'm gonna see my grandbaby for the first time, um, in one week from today, um, and I'm so happy that I finally get to meet her, you know. She has played a big role in my healing and in my getting through everything because, you know, times I feel like I'm just so tired. I just stroll through my phone and look at pictures of her little fat cheeks and she's smiling and just growing up in front of my eyes through pictures and talking to her on FaceTime and stuff like that. keeps me going. And I miss her little self so much. I can't wait to see her. Um... So, when she does come, trust me, y'all going to get to see it too. And I just want to thank everybody for the donations um, to my GoFundMe account. And also the donations to my PayPal. I am, um, I see all your donations. Some of y'all making donations that I didn't even think I was worthy of. Like, y'all coming through $100 and, and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, people actually love me that much to just, you know you know, help me out that much, and it's amazing, you never know how much somebody cares about you until they actually do something for you, until you put your story out there, but, um, I just want to thank everybody who donated, the people that follow me that donated, the people that follow me that shared my story, and other people donated, and the YouTubers, you know, the YouTubers especially, because, It's hard in YouTube land because it's always some kind of competition. Seems like, seems like, I'm saying seems like because I see a lot of YouTube beef videos and stuff like that. People beefing and and seem like it's a lot of hatred, but it's a lot of love on YouTube um, as well. I mean, I'm talking about from the actual YouTubers. I got Thick Chick Vlogs, you know, um, made a donation and you know, it, it just touches your heart when somebody like that, that, that's one that I consider my friend right there, Thick Chick Vlogs, and also Sweet Sparkle, uh, she's made two donations so far, and they both, Thick Chick Vlogs and Sweet Sparkle both made videos, you know, to reach out to me, uh, and to other people so that they may donate as well. Um, Lady Nika, she mentioned me in one of her videos. Um, if y'all know of anybody who might have mentioned me in their videos, y'all let me know because some people mentioned me in their videos and they didn't say anything to me like, hey, I mentioned you because Lady Nika never said anything. She just did it and somebody donated and they said Lady Nika sent me. You know, that's how I found out, which was sweet. Um, and also, Justin J one two three two I think those his numbers Justin J twelve thirty two um he donated he's a YouTuber as well um Taste Pink oh by the way Justin J was my boyfriend in my head my boyfriend my YouTube boyfriend <laughs> yeah I know he gay but it's it's just a joke but he's still my YouTube boyfriend anyway Taste Pink um. What's her other name? I forgot her other name. She ch- she had changed it. But she donated um, yesterday or today. It's good to see other YouTubers who make videos just like us. 
um, just like me, um, who's willing to help another YouTuber out instead of, you know, throwing shade or having beef or rolling their eyes at me or anything because I ain't did nothing to nobody though. But it, it's it's people on YouTube that's like that. Just put it like that. I watch videos and I see things that go on. Um, but some YouTubers really have hearts and I thank you guys for donating. Justin J, Taste Pink, um, DJ Ball, Sweet Sparkle. Um, if I miss any of y'all, y'all let me know if y'all are actually YouTuber and y'all donated. You know, all the ones who are not YouTubers and they donated. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But anyway, I'm going to leave a link to my GoFundMe account below and also my PayPal. Where you can donate directly at my pay goldmouth48 at yahoo.com through my PayPal. But anyways, y'all, I, um, I'm doing okay. And... Everything is okay right now. I hate to come to y'all every time whining in the video because I feel sick. But um, this is reality for me right now. So, this is about all I could do. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, I'll feel better. Um, I'll feel better after a while. And I'll be able to do more cooking videos because there's been a lot of food on my mind. Uh just to make videos for cooking videos for my kids and I know since Jazzy Jazzy gonna be here I'll be cooking more too and making baby milk and all kind of good stuff. <laughs> I can't wait to be a grandma. I'm already a grandma but I can't wait to have the grandma feeling of rocking a baby again and holding a baby and playing with a baby, 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 baby. Anyway y'all let me get off of here. Um that's I'll talk to y'all in the next video. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.